Alrighty guys, hey, it's GG1K GunGeek1000. The first thing you're thinking, well, your desktop's crowded. Yes, it indeed is. The reason being is I was making a new annotation for the end of my thing. Uh, this is not very good, it's not done yet. Uh, and I'm making a new video, and that's what all these clips are over here. And some of my pictures for my giveaway. But anyway, this is not why we're here. This is, I'm here to show you how to make Minecraft faster. Yeah, I'm using Hypercam, even though, yes, I do have fraps. I cannot record my Arrow desktop because I do not have Windows Home Premium anymore. I have basic Windows on my new computer. Now, um, I'm going to show you a few ways to make Minecraft faster. And the only reason I'm deleting this is because I'm redoing it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do here is um, what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you several different ways. The first thing you want to do is you want to drag Minecraft to your desktop. Now say for instance you have it here in your videos. What you'll do to get drag it to your desktop, either you'll just drag here in place, or you drag over here to desktop. And it shall show up right here. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create something called a Windows bat file, which is basically going to open a program with a certain amount of RAM or a certain amount of um or a certain just something a function that you want to happen when you open it. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to, first of all, copy this code that I have right here. And I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do to edit this. Copy this code. I'm going to have it in the link description below. It's going to be the first thing. I want you to right-click your desktop, click New, Text Document. Double-click it, open it up. Control plus V, or, you know, copy-paste what I just gave you. Make sure you have the... Uh, parenthesis here, or not the parenthesis, the uh, quotation mark here at the end. Yes, it's supposed to be there. Now, obviously your computer is probably not called Jacob. First, put your computer name in this spot, which I will leave parentheses. Put computer name here. But in this case, I'm going to put Jacob because that's my computer name. Now to find that out, click your start. Find your computer, my computer if you XP have XP. Right click it, click properties. Now your computer info is going to open right here. Now do you see right here where it shows, where my mouse is where it says Jacob? Well that's my full computer name, Jacob. Now also the other thing you're going to look here is I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. This will also help you. It's uh, It'll show right there under your processor. Um, now you can close that up. Now I have 8 gigs of RAM. And see this little code right here? RAM input is what I'm going to put in this area. Now I have 6,096, which means I'm directing 6,000, uh, basically six gigs, like five, gi five and a half gigs of RAM, to my um, Minecraft when I open it. Now that's what that does. That's uh, if you have two gigs of RAM, you're gonna want to only put like maybe 1,000. If you have four gigs, 2,096. If you have 16 gigs, you want to go 896. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I have 696, six, about five gigabytes of RAM. Now what you want to do here, click File, Save As, New Text Document. Make sure it's on your desktop. Save it to your desktop. You're going to want to name it, you're going to want to change the Save As Type to All Files. Then you're going to want to name it, um, just Open Minecraft Anything really, dot, but make sure, dot bat you have at the end. Save it, close it up. Okay, now do you see this right here, open Minecraft? That's what we just created. Now let me show you when I open Minecraft real quick. Log in. Single player. All right, now this is a world I've been working on recently. Now, okay, see, oh, excuse me, press function F. Uh, sorry about that. There's a little cutoff there. Here is you're going to want to press. Oops, sorry about that. Plus func how your computer. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, but typically what's going to pop up is a little picture or a little thing up in the corner. Uh, in your corner right here. And it's going to show blah, 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 MB. And now typically, if you haven't done what I just did, it's going to show 958. Now, 
with this shortcut. See how I opened Minecraft when I double clicked it? Now this little thing's gonna pop up. Exit out. Simple enough. Log in. Now I would demonstrate how you could show how it, there's more RAM in my my uh, Minecraft info box is an open opening, which is very strange. Your coordinates, etc. It's not opening for me right now. But yeah, and obviously another way to create Minecraft faster. This is more complex way. Video settings. See this mod I have right here. It's called Optifine, which I'll be showing how to install it later on in another video. So where basically I can adjust different animations, shut them off, etc. Quality, performance. Now I normally play on Fancy Far, but I had it on uh, Fancy Normal because of the fact that I was playing on a laggy server, Hunger Games. You're also probably wondering, whoa, your screen looks weird. Yeah, it's because I was on Quake Pro, that's what I play on. Um, now, let's move on to the second way to show you how to make things faster here for you. All right. Now, next way. See this little code I also uh, put down there. Now, this is another thing you're gonna do based on how much RAM you have. You're gonna want it to be the same. It doesn't have to be, but pretty much the same as you had for uh, uh, your what you put into your opening Minecraft thing. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press Control Panel. It's gonna look like this. See where it says View by Category. I want you to press large icons or small icons, which either one, whichever one. Now look for the one that says Java. Mine's right here. Click Java, and this little thing is gonna open. Click the Java tab. Press View. Now see this little runtime parameters thing. Paste that code I gave you in there. The whole thing. Now I'm gonna make it 6,096. Now you're just gonna leave it like that. You're gonna to want to press Add, then you're gonna press this again. Or excuse me, press this and then remove. Press OK, apply. OK. Now that's also gonna allow more MB to be put towards your Java, which will Java in general will cause it to run faster. Check View again, make sure it's still there, because sometimes it's not. Oops, and I accidentally put 609. I meant 696. Apply. OK. Now, um. The next thing you're going to do, I have that, I showed you that. The next thing you're going to do is a simple thing. These are just little hints to show you how to make your Minecraft faster. Uh, play on a screen that doesn't cover your whole desktop. Make it the size that is still playable, but is not covering the whole thing. Every if The more it's covering, the more graphics input you have to put into your Minecraft. Which, you know, causes it to be laggier if you don't have a decent computer. I do have a better computer. I used to not have a good computer I feel your pain I know exactly what you're going through it's terrible um, but now with this new computer I mean it's great I can play Minecraft I still have my old things that I had in my old computer the old uh, tips that I had in my old computer to make it faster it uh it helps uh, helps me helps it run a lot faster now the other thing this is a simple thing that I would hope you would know about uh, what you want to do is you want to click your start you're gonna search oops I have cap locks on task manager the running processes with task manager now you're gonna see minecraft launcher uh, over here in your applications you're gonna press processes just uh, go ahead and click one just press J it's gonna show you the Java CS 71 right click it set priority high now that means uh, more of your computers RAM will also be directed towards minecraft that's another simple fix which I'm sure if you have a bad computer you've always already looked into that uh, yeah, I will. On my next video, I will show you how to install Optifine. It's an amazing app. If you already know how to show mob, uh, install mods, I will have the link in the description below. You can go install it. It's called Optifine. Uh, it's really easy to install mods. People think it's hard, but it's really not. The only thing you need is uh, WinRAR, which is a free program, or 7-Zip. WinRAR, I recommend. It's just kind of what I use. But yeah, in the next video, I'll show you how to install mods and that mod in general. And I am raining arrows on this skeleton, and I'm going to go kill him as the end. Uh, please like it if it helped you. Comment if it didn't, and I will help you out as soon as I can. It should only take me, like, a few hours to reply to you, no more than a day. I check my email daily. Whenever someone comments on my videos, I get an email. I will reply to you as soon as possible. Uh, share this if you want to. If you have other friends who have problems making mine with Minecraft, then uh, share it with them. Helps me out, helps them out, helps you out, you know. 
kind of help help a brother out here. Uh, just uh, check me out on uh, Instagram at Jacob Fournier, on Facebook at GunGeek1000, on Twitter at GunGeeky1000. And I hope this helped you, and I will see you later. Oh, it's Mama Panda. Mama Panda. Mama Panda. Anyways, I will now sing my song. For a second, I thought I was Tracy.